Brandon, starting with the good first, Ryan Malcastle, you had said just the other day that you knew the power would come. How impressed with you were you with what he was able to do on those two pitches? Yeah, two long home runs, really good swings all day. Nice base hit the other way. Uh, yeah, just one of the back outstanding today. And I think you saw the raw power. You saw the power, that his potential there. And, and uh, just took really good at-bats again today. Rich Dubroff. Brandon, it was another tough uh, ninth inning for uh, for Cole Salser, which is from him today. Well, I mean, yeah, he, he had a tough time there in the ninth. Um, you know, walked the leadoff hitter. So a uh, couple of walks there in the eighth and ninth really allowed them to uh, get traffic and, and um, just it was – yeah, tough ninth inning for him. Got ahead with Shaw, two strikes, couldn't put him away. Um, you know, we also had a guy, a lot of guys unavailable today. So it was just a, I was proud of our guys coming back, taking the lead there in the top of the ninth, and we just didn't, we just didn't finish it today. Nathan Ruiz. Brandon, since we talked to you, uh, Michael Gibbons was also traded. When a team makes a trade for a player, you know, we usually talk about what that does to a clubhouse. What do you think these two trades today do to your clubhouse, just the mindset of it? Well, I think that there was so many, there was so much swirling about it and so much talk about it. I think that everybody was prepared in case that did happen. And um, yeah, it was tough to say goodbye to Mike this afternoon and wish him well in Denver. He's going with a really good group of guys there in Bud Black, Steve Foster, pitching coach there. And um, so I really wish him the best of luck in, uh, in Denver. Joe Treza. Brandon, did, did Hunter come out of the outing okay? And, and what did you make of his debut? Yeah, no, we talked before the game about what kind of situation Hunter <laughs> was going to pitch in in his first time. Um, you know, we don't ha have a ton of low leverage situations that we've been playing in, except for yesterday. That was the only one. He wasn't active. Um, so I thought, you know, ball came out great. I know he was disappointed in the walk to Guerrero. I didn't really want him to throw many more pitches than that also in his first time. He's also a guy that I don't want to get up and then sit back down. If I get him up, I'm going to, I'm going to get him in the game. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, we, we like the to let Scott on to Les match up and he just threw a bad slider and, and uh, Tanner hasn't done that much and Tanner's really good on left-handed hitters and, uh, no, that just that one hurt. Dan Connolly. Brandon, you obviously don't have Michael anymore, but now that you have Hunter, do you still see Seltzer as your number one guy in the ninth inning? Where do you where do you take that from here? I think anything's open right now. To be honest with you, I think that um, you know I still like Seltzer a, a lot, especially against left-handed left-handed hitters. Um, he's done a really nice job of getting lefties out all year. Um, He's hitting a little bit of a bump in the road here in the in, in the ninth inning as of late. So I'll, yeah, I'll keep my options open with with whoever. Um, you know, we just didn't have, we just didn't have a lot of guys available today, and uh, so we're a little bit hamstrung in the pen. The guys that you know, I thought Paul Fry Paul Fry was the star for us today on the pitching side. Really, really threw the ball great, extended him longer than I think I might have ever have, um, and so that was really nice to see from Paul. Stan Charles. Brandon, is what we've seen from Tanner the last couple times a kind of constant reminder that th this thing is an education process? Yeah, I think so. Absolutely. And he, he's going to learn from these experiences. I mean, I'm putting him in really, really tough situations. He really flourished early in the year. Now he's hit some bumps in the road also, like like Souls here the last week or so, where, the, where they're, um, they're just not having the same results that they had uh, first few weeks of the year and that's part of it you know in a long season that happens a few times um, but then you bounce back and uh, you know learn from your outings but you know these guys that I'm pitching they don't have <laughs> there's not a it's not we don't have a bullpen that that is uh, years of experience and and um, yeah you just hope that our guys learn from them you know Tanner's Tanner's got a great arm and he's going to be an impact relief pitcher in this game and he's shown a lot of really nice signs of, of doing that being just a lockdown guy and he's had it he's had a few outings now where it hasn't gone perfect that's part of the game um, I'm going to continue to throw him out there 
because for me, he's one of the best arms we have and a really, really tough at bat. And he just made a bad pitch to Teles. So uh, you're going to see Hunter Harvey and Tanner Scott because really that's what it looks like uh, in the back end of really good teams on the, in the bullpens, the arms that they, they feature. And um, just give these guys as much experience as I possibly can. And a question with Dubrov. Uh, Brandon, uh, who's your starter for tomorrow? Um, we're going to go Keegan Aiken tomorrow. 